For filing a GSTR return, taxpayers need to first prepare GSTR 1 by entering the details of output supplies made by them during a given tax period. In the previous video, you learnt about navigating to the returns dashboard. This video will introduce you to the GSTR1 dashboard and its various sections. Before we continue, please note that all exempt or non-GST supplies and exports also need to be reported in GSTR1 even if no tax is applicable on such supplies. A taxpayer needs to file GSTR1 of a tax period by the 10th of the succeeding month. For example, GSTR 1 for September 2017 would become due on or before 10th of October 2017. One can prepare GSTR 1 in two ways. In the first method, taxpayers can log in to the GST portal and make direct entries on the portal itself. In the other method, taxpayers can prepare GSTR 1 in offline mode by using the offline utility and Excel or CSV templates and upload the data to the GST portal to file the return. There are two buttons on the tile, output supplies made by the taxpayer GSTR1. These are prepare and prepare offline. The prepare button allows preparing the return online whereas the prepare offline button allows uploading the GSTR1 data from the offline utility. Click the prepare link on the highlighted tile that says output supplies made by the taxpayer GSTR1. This will take you to the GSTR1 dashboard. Let's understand the sections and tiles that are displayed on this page. The details that need to be furnished can be broadly grouped into two categories. One group has sections in which the invoice level details have to be captured rate-wise. In the other group, the summarized information from month has to be declared. The first section, GSTR1, Outward Supplies Made by the Taxpayer, displays some basic information about your GST registration profile the status of GSTR1 filing for the selected period and a column to add your gross turnover for the previous financial year. Adding the gross turnover figure and saving the same is a one-time activity. In case you are a new taxpayer and this field does not apply to you, just enter zero here. In the GSTR1 invoice details section, the B2B invoices tile captures details pertaining to business to business supplies in the given tax period. In other words, all supplies made to registered persons must be captured here. The B2C large block captures all interstate supplies made to unregistered persons where the invoice value is more than 2,50,000 rupees. In the credit or debit note registered tile, you need to enter all credit notes and debit notes that were issued to the registered persons. Whereas, in the credit or debit note unregistered tile, all credit notes and debit notes issued to unregistered persons are entered. Under export invoices, enter details of all your exports, including deemed exports, as well as supplies made to a registered entity in a special economic zone or SEZ. In all the invoice level and credit or debit note sections, the declaration has to be done rate wise for each invoice and debit or credit note. Scrolling down to the GSTR1 Other Details section, B2C Others is where you enter the state wise or place of supply wise and tax rate wise summary of all intrastate supplies made to unregistered persons irrespective of their value. This section also captures interstate supplies of invoice value 
that are less than or equal to two lakh fifty thousand rupees each. The need rated supply style captures information regarding all supplies of items that are exempt from GST. In the tax liability advances received style, details of any advances received against supplies to be made in the future are captured. Advance payments are subject to tax under the GST regime. Under the adjustment of advances category, details of supplies made against advances received in the previous tax period are entered. Both the advance received and adjusted have to be reported with place of supply, that is, state code and rate wise. Next, the HSN wise summary of outward supplies will capture the HSN classification code wise supply details. This style captures the total taxable value of each item supplied and each service provided in the given tax period. Finally, the documents issued tile captures the details of documents that might be issued by you in the given tax period. Examples of such documents are the invoice range, specifying the starting and ending serial numbers of invoices issued, total count of invoices issued, number of invoices that were cancelled, and the number of net invoices that were issued after cancellation.